<laughs> What's going on everybody? Ian here for Cult of Mac. And whether you're new to the Apple Watch or you've been wearing one for a long time, learning how to send messages or write on the Apple Watch can be a huge pain. It's not like a normal iPhone where you can type out on a keyboard. And if you're not used to the methods of input on an Apple Watch, both by voice or by touch, it can be really confusing. So these are the couple different ways to type an iMessage or send text on an Apple Watch. First and foremost, the most direct way to send a message or write on the Apple Watch is with your voice. You can simply tap the little microphone icon both in mail or messages or any other app that supports you know, writing text and start speaking. The Apple Watch then will take your dictation and transcribe that into text, allowing you to speak whatever it is the message is and have it turned into text to send in your email or text message. The second way to write messages on your Apple Watch, and one of my favorite ways to write messages on the Apple Watch, is with the Scribble feature. Scribble is indicated by the little finger touching a screen icon, and from there, it'll bring up a little grid that you can physically write on with your finger, similar to the way the Newton and old Palm Pilots used to work with their styluses. Basically, take your finger and just start drawing letters on that screen, and it will transpose those letters you're drawing into actual text. From there, you can write out your message, add punctuation, again, just scribbling it on the screen for question marks or periods or whatever, and add spaces as needed or backspace if you need to remove something with those little on-screen keys. Now, one thing that is worth keeping in mind with Scribble is you don't have to wait for each letter to disappear before you write the next one. This is what makes Scribble really, really great. You can actually continue to write each letter right on top of the letter that was already there, and the Apple Watch is smart enough that almost every single time it will get it perfect and understand a new letter has started or this letter is different than that or this is part of this and know exactly how to handle it. You can also save a ton of time if you get the digital crown involved in scribbling out messages. So basically as you're writing your word and the word starts to show up, you'll see a little up and down arrow up at the top of the screen where the word is actually being written. If you turn the digital crown, that'll actually scroll through a list of autocomplete words based on what you've started to write. This makes it really quick to write out a long word in only a few characters right on your wrist, meaning you don't have to spend as much time writing out your message and you can still get the point across quickly. Scribble can save you tons of time and awkwardness by being able to send messages quickly from your wrist. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to send a message and Siri isn't an option or dictation isn't an option, try out Scribble. It's really fun to play with and as you get the hang of it, it becomes something that you really enjoy doing. I use it all the time for sending messages on my watch, which is one of my most common uses for the watch in general. Let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you've never tried Scribble and you're excited to give it a shot, or if you've tried Scribble and really enjoy it. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel as we're going to do more of these Apple Watch tips and tricks over the next coming months. I'm Ian for Cult of Mac. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.